Hello everybody, welcome to the United Way TV. My name is Rob Dukan, Manchester United. Tomorrow is hosting Bradford at Old Trafford. Manchester United, Bradford. What a game. It's a final of the Champions League, guys. Look, I mean, our present situation, yeah? Uh, it, it, we're in a situation where we take such normal games back in the days, like, so serious. Because it is serious. This is a game in which United, I always say must win. But this is a game that will... Ma will, will would might almost define Eric Ten Hag's uh, position in Manchester United. Either he's going to stay or he's going to be sacked. I am really sure about this because look, Brentford, no matter all the good things you talk about, Brent Brentford, you will get to, you will agree with the fact that it's a club which is beatable. It's a club that always plays for the second part of the, of the, of the league, below 10. It's just a young football club who not, I mean, they don't have a massive uh, experience in the Premier League. So this is a game in which every ten out there is no there is no error for mistake. So United has to win. If United loses this game, I didn't say draw. If United loses this game, I think every ten out needs to beg to be sacked because this is it. I hate talking about sacking the manager because it's not only the manager but the manager needs to find a solution for this. So let's talk about that. Where, but before we start, how can we continue, guys? How can we have a, a, a video where we don't talk about Manchester United injuries? We have a lot of injuries. I haven't been doing videos every day. I have too much issues in my private life. But uh, look, um, we have Mazuari, which is injured. Oh, before we start, you know, we have all the our our elite injured players, which are Luke Shaw and, uh, you know, um, uh, uh, Malaysia. Now we have another M, Mazuari, the Moroccan who had a, it's not a, it's not a joke, a serious heart issue. But uh, thank God he, he didn't take his life when he was on international. So he has to relax at least. He has some couple of weeks, again, three more weeks, something like that. So less than a month to be at the sideline. Then, just of recent, we have just had information about Kobe Menu, who will not be able to play because he picked up an injury against the Villa game. You're aware of that. And also Harry Maguire, which you're aware of it, which might come in, might not. It's a 50-50 Harry Maguire as of now. We will know um, that maybe only tomorrow when the game begins, if Harry can give some minutes, can have some minutes in the game. But look, this is, um, um, a, 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 we're in a position as fans, as Manchester United fans, where we, we, we can just lose our optimism. You see what I'm, where I'm going with this? We cannot just lose it, not because... Uh, not because we we need it, it's because we have to uh, put it uh, forward. Uh, we're playing against a Bradford team, which is very mobile, a team which, um, uh, who is very good at, uh, uh, I mean, on their counter-attacking. It's not a team that has plays on possession, it's a team that plays mostly on counter-attacking and are very effective with Buema, the Cameroonian, by the way, I'm from Cameroon, uh, origin. Uh, and, uh, you, know, we don't, you know, moving forward, honestly, I am very confident that United, we can get something in this game. I don't know what you guys think, but I'm very confident at Manchester we can get something from this game because, uh, you know, uh, uh, the way Brentford does play, Brentford's game basically at the first 20 minutes, it is very clear. And before I go again, I want to just say, talking about history of Brentford, it will be catastrophic if we lose this game because the last time we lost against Brentford in Old Trafford, if I'm not mistaken, I think it was 1937. By then, my my late dad wasn't born. 1937, that's a long time. Which means, that's the reason I told you guys in the beginning of the video that if we lose this game today, Eri Ten Hag needs to find a way that he should get sacked. Because, I mean, that's where the logic comes from. Not because I want him to be sacked, not that I want to bring the old stories in. It's just, we have lost a lot. And not forgetting after this game, we have to go to Fenombache. We meet Jose, Moreno, Fenombache. In the European League, we have some setting games. We have winnable games, actually. We have like five games in a row, which, if I mean, with the old United that we know, that's a clear uh, uh, with three points that we will collect. So, how do we approach this game? I think we have, uh, because we have, sorry guys, what did I do here? What did I do here? Because I think, because we have, um, you know, let me just look at the tactical board because this is what is more important. Look at your screen clearly. And uh, I think because we have players here which are, you know, uh, who are, are absent, especially at the left wing. What I would do is, I don't know what Eric Tenag would do, but Eric Tenag is a stubborn manager. He, I think he will find a way through. We have seen here, uh, 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 Marcus Rashford billing for, um, trying to uh, build up his, uh, 
his 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 form. He is he is an English international, but no longer called regularly with the team with the English setup, which is also good for him. Uh, uh, I think what we should do is United. We should start up. Oh, let me tell just to give you my lineup, guys. Please drop your lineup below. I want you guys to tell me what lineup is favorable for this game with the players we have. As I just said, we have um, a lot of players we are on the sideline today. Goalkeeper actually will be Onana, Mr. 100%. He's always all, all in the games. Uh, back to, I think we should start with, um, yeah, we sh I think man we should start with Johnny Evans. And we have the elite. Then on the left, I think we should play, uh, we should put Lisandro Martini on the left. Bring uh bring Delo on the right. Holding midfield, I don't want that rubbish. We I want to see this guy play Ogati. This Ogati scandal is becoming something like San Jason Sancho standard. It's becoming something like a, a scandal like like what we had we had previously with um with the Donny, Donny Van de Beek. It, I am starting to believe that Eric Tenag was not into this. This is why I keep telling you guys, if you watch till now, you'll be lucky to listen to this. There's a politics in football which most of you don't know. You have to understand. I think if you want to follow this game, not only Manchester United, want to be relevant in this game going forward. Football has its own politics, which is kind of like mainstream. But, uh, you know, in terms of transfer, there are certain things which are, are not really... Uh, clear in the transfer so for me Ogate plays as holding midfielder Kobe Moeno will not be there you can put it this way we can I mean Ogate for me midfielder yeah I uh, you have Ericsson who has been doing well on internationals for me will play also as eight yeah then I will put Bruno Fernandez here as ten because we have to go on counter-attacking when also we lose and we have to put pressure on Brentford Marcus Rashford for me on the right you know what? I won't start Ganacho. Ganacho will come in and influence the game. I would rather play with um, Ahmad on the right. I think he's feeling much better. He had a knock also. Uh, then Rasmus Holland as playing as the 10. I don't know what you think. That's my lineup. Rasmus Holland as, as, as a 9. Bruno as a 10. On the, on the left side of the attack, we have Rashford. On the right, Ahmad. You have on the uh, midfield, uh, holding midfield, you have Ericsson, someone who distributes uh, then. You have Ogate who has to master that hold in midfield. Then you uh, on the left and the defense. If we play compact, we can play with Martinez on the right. We have Delo. We have no choice. We can't break this out. We have a lot of injuries. We have to manage with what we have. Uh, yeah. Then Kobitola or, or maybe Kobitola might play in the left. I don't know. He's younger, and that in that case, then you bring in Martinez in the midfield. You give a rest for Evans who comes in also in the game. Uh, so tell me what you think below guys smash a like on the video this is a game where Manchester United needs to win that's my old cliche if you're someone who watches this guy uh, this uh, part of the program where we do our previews and uh, I've gone for the scores that United is going to win 2-1 I struggle to put the two I almost want to say 1-1 but I think 2-1 will be the score it could be 3-1 but I think 2-1 but it would depend on many factors one of the factors is we have to try to play as a team we have uh, a captain who has lost total uh form who is called an order uh, underrated 10 i don't know it's uh, it bruno fernandez so but united this is a very tough one guys i tough one not because of the opening but because of the safe in which we are anyway guys click the like on the video get involved with the united way tv tomorrow live we're doing a live uh, match reaction after the game so uh, stay tuned, subscribe to the channel. Guys, we want to hit 10,000. We cannot even get it in 4,000. But anyway, we will do this because we do this. We love it. But we love it. And thanks for all of you guys away. And please, for all of you who are members, for those of you who are subscribers, please just a little bit give us some time. By the end of the year, we will settle. We might have settled. We might have had a good studio when we go live every day. That's what we'll be doing. That's why we did this, just to talk to you guys. But we are now in a tough situation. Anyway, thanks again. And uh, yeah, talk to you soon. Bye-bye.